Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. Today we're doing the final secret level in the Jungle Awakens DLC. It is the Panda Plateau. Uh, if you read it right here, oh well, it actually has a picture this time. Um, it's the same picture for the Overgrown Temple. Oh, well, that's a little bit disappointing. Thought there'd be a picture of pandas here. Protect the pandas within a secluded bamboo forest perched on the face of a sprawling cliffside. A community of pandas have escaped the corrupting presence of the shard. Until now, we need to fight back against the sprawling, strangling vines in which have threatened, or vines which have threatened to take over the homes of these lovable, defenseless pandas. I agree, we gotta save the pandas. Um, this is a level that we actually unlocked in Dingy Dunk Jungle. Um, we just were running through and we found a secret level, so definitely check out that episode if you want sort of more details on how to find this level. But yeah, recommended power is 33, we're power 40, so we should be able to be totally handling this. And there's also an unknown artifact, which seems to be the same artifact that we could have gotten from Overgrown Temple. So I'm going to hope for that one. Everything else we're, um, already sort of knowing about, so let's get into it. Panda Plateau. Whoa! Why is the loading screen different now? This is not what the loading screen was before. Weird. Okay. <laughs> Whatever, I'll take it. Let's see what's going on at the Panda Plateau. Oh, they're not even gonna introduce it to us? Okay. Well, yeah, we gotta protect the pandas. I'm not gonna attack them. They're so cute! Oh, I love it, but that's why we need to defeat all these guys. We got this brand new heart bow. I mean, we've had one in the past, but this is a new one that has, you know, new power to it and everything, so that's really exciting. And we'll just be working on everything as much as we can, try to destroy these bad guys. Um, now with the fire arrows, that's where this gets really crazy. You can see. Oh, <laughs> I love it already. That is amazing. So of course our sword is fine. I do need to look into maybe upgrading it with the ax that we had. That might end up being better, but who knows. Right now though, this bamboo forest is very thick with, what do you know, bamboo. The pandas are such an amazing animal. Of course, I feel a bit of a kinship them being, you know, also a black and white animal, just like the zebra. So that's always cool to see. I can't wait, I hope that one day, zebras make their way into Minecraft. You know, we've seen now parrots and pandas and llamas or alpacas and wolves and ocelots. Can we get a zebra update? That'd be cool. I'd be happy with it. Oh, we got a chest over this way. That's good. But um, yeah, that'd be, especially since I feel like they definitely need like a big savanna update. That would be awesome. And apparently one secret and two chests. We'll see about that. But explore the bamboo forest, pandemonium. <laughs> double strength potion there. I don't know if that doubles up or maybe doubles the time or maybe it does nothing. Who knows? But over this way, oh man, these skeletons are in so much trouble. I don't even need that TNT, but I will take it. <laughs> maybe I'll toss it down that way. Get rid of this guy. Oh, I love this bow so much. It's great. So I'm definitely gonna be holding on to this one for as long as I possibly can. There we go. And over this way, there's a couple more enemies. I'm gonna do what I can about them. But that's why it's definitely worth interacting with the blacksmith a bit more. And seeing what we can make out of all that. Uh, seeing if we can't get more unique items out of it. So that's the way I'm supposed to go. So it's certainly the way I will go sooner or later. But for right now, there was still a tiny little corner up this way I'd miss. I don't think it has much besides evil vines that want to attack me, but hey, worth checking. I don't know how long this level will end up being. It might be a bit of a short episode. If so, no big deal. But I'm hoping we can at the least get to level 46. We got the level 45 last episode. Level 45 and 44, right? Or am I getting that mixed up? I don't remember. Once again, trying to go the way we're not supposed to go. We've only seen the one panda so far. I'm guessing there's gonna be more, but I guess, you know, why would they be around if there's all these bad guys? I'd be running away too. Okay. There we go. And not too much going on over this way. That's fine. One less area we have to check. There's still so many cool animals they could add. I mean, I know the most recent updates have added like bees and stuff. I haven't really checked that out. So what does this say? Lower the gate, we'll do that in just a moment. So I guess I was supposed to go this way. <laughs> Weird. Well, let's do that. Oh, but we can't go back now. Oh no. Well, maybe I gotta go down that way anyways. I don't know how that's gonna work. It's a little weird. Lots of enemies now though. Making the most of these fire arrows when I can. Yeah, this actually isn't too bad. Wow, that is so destructive. Okay, three more fire arrows left. So I guess that that one upgrade, I haven't really been paying too much attention to it, but it might be transferring over. 
because we have the one upgrade for the harp bow that sometimes it'll save an arrow. So like if you try to use one, it would just like won't count. I think that also counts for the fire arrows. Oh, now we can go back. But now I'm a little curious what's gonna be this way because this is actually a dead end. Gotcha. Now it's making a bit more sense. Can I get up there? I guess not. Oh no, where did all these come from? They weren't here before. Weird. I mean, I guess they came from the ground, didn't they? See, now we can go back down and there should be, I guess, a different entrance downwards. Weird. I hear what sounds like a chest though. Where? Oh, then it goes away. Yeah, I don't hear it anymore. Isn't that weird? Get some extra arrows out of that though. So who do we gotta take on down this way, huh? We got some ocelots. And this is, okay, this is like the other path we could have gone down. I understand now. All right, just trying to make sense of the whole area. I always love the secret levels in this game though. They always have a cool feel to them. And this is definitely one of them. That has a cool feel. Those pandas in Minecraft are so cool. Honestly, I just, I haven't played the game, the main Minecraft exploring, you know, and surviving in so long. There's still so many updates I wanna appreciate. And I plan on doing that soon. I wanted to check out the game with the new graphical update. But for that, I need a more powerful computer than I currently have. So I'm trying to get one of those, it's just a more powerful computer. I'm sort of due for one. This one's getting a little older. I don't know if you can hear it, but every once in a while in some games, especially this one, you'll sometimes hear it just like rev up and get a little louder. So I'm working on it, sooner or later. Okay, there we go. Let's definitely grab, I guess, some extra armor. That really, once you get up close and personal with them too, it does a lot more damage. It gets crazy. And there's a lot to do in this area. I guess we're supposed to rescue five pandas. Don't mind if I do. You don't have to ask me twice. Let's get rid of every enemy I can. Oh, I see a little uh, armor potion over this way. Definitely gonna grab it. Oh, the poor panda's all locked up. You monsters, leave the pandas alone. What do they do to you? They're an endangered species. I know what that feels like. It's not fun. There we go. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's go down this way. And there's another one. So, with all these flowers around, I'm just trying to get rid of as many as I can. I mean, we've been doing fine so far. I haven't lost any, you know, lives or anything. Yeah, see, that time I had two fire arrows and I, I, I fired them and I still kept two fire arrows and I did it again after that. So that's really good. The fact that it extends to the, uh, the, to the power-ups like that, I'm really happy about that. Okay, got a couple more down this way. I love the noise it makes too, it's so relaxing. <laughs> relaxing as we destroy a bunch of our foes. Can't get any better than that, can you? Because we still have a ton of arrows over this way. I definitely wanna try to beat this guy up a little bit. Not a problem. Now you guys up here are going down. Thank you. There's still two more pandas to save though, so we're gonna do that, get a swiftness potion. Let's get in there. There we go. <laughs> it just gets so messy with all the vines. And there's a level up, a level 46 now. Another enchantment point earned. Hopefully we can start getting some weapons that have three upgrade slots, but I feel like I need to get to the uh, the higher game difficulty for that outside of uh, default. <laughs> there we go. I just haven't had the time to grind up to that difficulty level, you know? Um, but explore the bamboo forest. Um, I guess we've sort of done everything else, so yeah, we could do that now. Okay, can we go into the water here? No. Yeah, but I don't see too much more to do here, so our exit was over this way, with all of the pandas freed. Oh my, this guy is like, you wanna explore this, huh? Have to get through me. Not a problem with our fire arrows, though. There we go. Gotcha. Oh no, here comes more of them. What do I get? Ooh, strength potion, you guys are in so much trouble. And I think, is that it? Or is there gonna be more? Okay, there is gonna be more. I was a little worried that was gonna be it. That would've been a short level for sure. We got more pandas to rescue down this way. And we got this. I'm glad there's more. But now I got this cool panda cave into the dark. Wow, what is that ore down there, I wonder? The purple? That's gotta be something. Oh, I like the cool panda statues down here too. Hunting bow. Ooh. Still haven't found that one secret. 
I'll be looking around for it, though. Okay. Definitely try to get rid of these guys as soon as we can. There we go. Oh, I picked up another whip, I guess. No, not the Ocelot, I'm sorry. I was just going a little crazy there, attacking everybody. Because even just one of the arrow shots does a lot of damage, but if we get up really close, you can land all of them at once. So the bigger opponents are actually sort of weaker to us than the smaller ones in this situation. Save that panda, two out of six already. We'll keep working on it. Because which way is the dead end? This actually is maybe the way we're supposed to go after we save all the pandas, so leaving that be for now. If there's a panda up this corner. I got you, panda buddy. Don't you worry. I love how he does a little roll too. He's so cute. Okay, so over this way. Got all of these guys. No problem. Whoa. Oh my. <laughs> this is a lot. We're getting him though. And at this point, also, my main goal is just to make it through level 46 as much as possible. That might be a lot, that might be a little. I guess we'll find out. And I guess I must have missed a panda. No panda gets left behind on my watch, though. So we're turning around. Keep it moving. I can hear them, too, the poor little pandas. I mean, they're not little, but <laughs> they're little at heart, aren't they? Okay, I don't know what I'm getting stuck on there. But that's all of them so far. Maybe that is a dead end over there. Maybe I should check that out real quick. Okay, this little area is not easy for trying to shoot across them. So yeah, let's check out whatever this little corridor on the left is. There's some spiders waiting for me. Gotcha, ooh, Shadow Brew. They don't even know. I think that maybe you get a guaranteed crit out of your Shadow Brew attack. That'd be cool if that's the case. Ooh, there's a secret here. I mean, it has to be a secret, right? Guess we'll find out. I don't think this is the way to continue with the level. That wouldn't make too much sense. There we go. Making some good progress all over, though. So let's try this out. Yeah, this is definitely like a secret area. I can't go up there, but I'm trying. Well, actually, ooh, that's probably the exit. Gotcha. Or at least, you know, what helps us exit. So just like with the last episode in that secret area, I like it. Pretty smart. Okay, we're stuck in some web. But we're just able to maintain so many arrows just because of that one perk we have. That's been actually more useful than I was expecting. So that's great. And we got all the chests. We're just looking now for um, the secret, which I can only imagine would be somewhere around here, right? The secret chest being in a secret cave. Don't think you could uh, think up anything more logical. Oh my, is this gonna close on us? Yep, there it goes. Also, I've been trying to pay attention. Does the parrot actually do any attacks or does it just sort of hang out? Pretty sure it just hangs out. But, oh, see how quick we can destroy that guy now? And he falls all the way down the pit. I love it. Much better. Um, I gotta be careful of that though. Uh, and that was it. So much easier. Oh, I love it. And what do we got inside of here? That's still not our secret, but Grave Bane. Oh, 43 as well. We've gotten Grave Bane before, but it's been a while. That definitely is worth considering. I'm not gonna worry about it too much for right now, but for sure, wow, that was cool. For sure, that is definitely something we wanna check out at some point or another. Really happy about that, though. Good to get some more uh, unique weapons whenever we get the chance. So there's still one more panda left to save. Sorry I'm making him wait, but just wanted to make sure we didn't have the back tra track more than necessary. Wow. <laughs> Maybe play it a little bit safer than that. So where's the panda? Not up this way, but over here. Oh, I already see it. Use some of those fire arrows. For those guys. And if I have the ability, I should work on these guys now. And you, sir, be gone. All right, escape the cave. Maybe I will just slap this on right now. Just try it out a little bit, because it has more power but and more area, much more area, but less speed, of course. But honestly, with how I'm using the bow and arrow, I don't need the speed too much. I just need to be able to run up and do a devastating blow. I can't fall down there, I guess. But th that guy's down there, so that doesn't make too much sense, but 
all my potions. That's not fair. Okay, well, it's not that big of a deal. I'm sure that if I run up, yep, there we go. Did I get that strength potion at the least? I guess not, whoa, that was weird. Okay, excuse me, mister. That is just so good. Oh man, I love this bow. I never want to change out of it. I still wish that there was a guy that would just be able to upgrade our current weapons, not give us new weapons. Which some people were saying that in some of the promotional art for the game or like some kind of box art or something, there is a guy that upgrades your weapons that, it's, that is mentioned, but isn't actually in the game yet. So maybe in like a future DLC that'll be added or maybe it was scrapped or something, who knows? That would be cool though. I would really like it. I think I will start holding on to some of my items just in case that ever happens. Probably stop. I mean, the only thing is that I try to recycle them so that I can get my points back. So that's sort of the, the tough part about it. Anyways. Got it. And over this way, we got this guy. He is just easy now. I love it. He was one of the more difficult enemies so far, but now it's just walking the park. So this weapon is looking good. I think that I've had a bit of a test run here. I would like to salvage this and upgrade this a little bit. So what do we have here? We have Rampaging. After defeating a mod, there's a 10% chance to increase your attack speed by 50%. Sharpness makes your weapon sharper, causing it to deal more damage. Might just wanna go with that one. Or weakening your attacks. Decrease the attack damage of all nearby enemies for five seconds. We're just gonna go with the straight damage increase here by 33%. And now these, we have Freezing, slows mobs after a hit for three seconds. Stunning, chance to stun them. And Looting, increase the chance of mobs dropping consumables. I like the stun. Not too bad of an upgrade then. Could it be better? Absolutely. But it definitely could be worse as well. Wow, look at us. This is like a cool little area, isn't it? Some kind of like forgotten treetop civilization. Living life with the pandas. Isn't that cool? And what's inside of here? There's a chest. I, I figured I could hear it glowing. And we're doing pretty well so far. This area is super cool. And like visually a bit different from everywhere else we've explored. And that's what I like about the, the bonus levels. I'm sorry, Ocelots, I didn't mean to. Ah, uh, darn. Let's use the fire arrows. Which way are we supposed to go? Not down this way. So, gonna grab whatever we can out of here and then leave. So, let's use this potion now, get some extra strength. There we go. Once again, this is the bonus way. Oh. Wow, we can take him out with this now too, so that's great. Now there's a lot of enemies over this way. I don't know if this is the best bet, but that's what I'm going for. That critical though, 273, 401, and another secret area. Well, pandas, don't attack the pandas. Uh-oh, but they're enchanted pandas. Are they gonna attack me? I don't wanna hurt the pandas. Are they gonna attack me though? That does hurt. I don't know. Uh, where are the pandas? I found them. <laughs> I don't know, I probably could attack them, but I don't I don't want to. <laughs> Leave them be. Just like I don't like attacking the cows or the ocelots or anybody else. Oh, we found them! The whole panda family, enjoy the party! I will love to, it's a panda party. This is so cute. Oh wow, and they're all up here. Can I get up there? I guess I can't. Wow. New objective, go to the boat. Well, thank you, pandas. I hope that you can live a safer uh, time, or just enjoy a safer time in the in the jungle now. Very cool, so there was our bonus level, the panda, whatever it was called. Um, the panda plateau. And 100% of the chest opened, 83% of the mobs defeated. I guess I must be counting the pandas there. And what do we get? Can we get that last artifact I've been looking for? Yeah, this is new. Corrupted seeds, a pouch of poisonous corrupted seeds that, which grow into spiky grapple vines, entangling and slowly draining the life from its victims. Wow. So let's take a look at that there. Um, yep, that was definitely it. Very cool. So if we back out over this way and equip that really quickly. That didn't really do much <laughs> right now. I guess because we weren't close enough to an enemy. But that is really cool, and we'll be definitely checking that out a bit more, maybe getting a better look at it in the next episode as we check out the one free bonus level that was added along with this DLC update. But yeah, that was the DLC through and through. We've done everything we can do in it. I did double check, there's no other secret levels as far as I can tell or from what anybody else has found. That just won't work right now. So at some point, uh, 
we'll be able to see what that does next episode. I do want to look around a little bit though. Is there anything more that was added to our house here? Because I know that every time we got like a little adventure done, it would add some things, but I don't see anything new in here. So maybe not. And I also wanted to just take an extra look around because there's still some mysteries being, you know, unsolved in this area. I think that there was like another portal over here, right? Somewhere around. I think here. But it's still not open. This has to be like a DLC or like a multiplayer zone or something at some point. That would be so cool. Um, and then we also might as well check out the cathedral area and just make extra sure that there isn't anything else going on there. Some kind of other secret we can unravel now that the DLC is out. I don't think so once again, but it's always worth checking, isn't it? But definitely, I had a lot of fun with the DLC. Three episodes of jungle-filled action. Can't interact with that anymore. And same thing here. Okay, yep. <laughs> nothing, nothing out of the normal. So yeah, with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.